Hossard. Welcome to the um, fifth fifth episode of uh, Clifter's podcast. Um, I'm just gonna grab my phone real quickly uh, because I'm so prepared, and let's get anything but a party started. All right. Uh, haven't been on Twitter in a while, and we're just gonna check for the news because I, for some reason, my mind gets empty when I just press record. And uh, there's nothing in my mind at the minute. So um, let me just start by asking a question. And uh, that question is, what is your favorite color? If that engages any audiences, I don't know if it does. Uh, it's a bad attempt. It's a very bad attempt. Well, uh, I'm just sitting in my apartment. Cloudy weather today. Cloudy weather you know um i talked to this I talked to this some a person uh, that i won't name by name um <laughs> uh, every day and um it's the most boring conversations ever that we have uh, but we still talk uh, for some reason because they're on the other side of the world i'm on the other side of the world you know just keep the conversation in case you end up on the other side of the world you at least have a friend you know uh, so, we always talk about the weather, boring as fuck. We always talk about how we're feeling, like just shallow, like how are you, boring as fuck. We always ask, uh, how's your sleep, boring as fuck. We always ask, um, sometimes we ask what the time is, but we've basically learned that by now. Uh, sometimes, or most of the time we ask um, each other what we ate which also is boring ASF, uh, if I'm going to do a short term of that, of uh, the thing that I've been saying four times already. You know, if you speak in, like, um, whatever you call a TBH or an ASF or an IRL or whatever, if you use that in, like, LOL, if you use that in regular conversations, you're a dork, uh, period. You're a dork, all right? Well, uh, I'm just going to pull up my Twitter. My Twitter, I don't know how to explain this, but George Ezra is the Michael Bublé of summer. Mm, is he? Is he now? I mean, I've only heard one song by George Ezra. Uh, you know. Uh, I don't know if I've heard anything more. By the way, uh, sitting in my uh, couch, my green couch. You never would have guessed that I sat in the green couch, now would you? Uh, I'm just going to keep this a little bit of riffing. Uh, because I don't want you to think that I just won't come on here to read off Twitter. Because that seems a little bit disrespectful in my opinion. And also I sound tired as fuck. But uh, that's the... Tenth time that I've said as fuck this podcast. So I'm not going to say this more anymore. Um, I feel really tired and I feel like I haven't spoken to a person in 15 days. But uh, you know how it is. I'm, I don't want to, as I said, I keep pulling up my phone. Uh, but uh, I shouldn't be doing that. I should be speaking directly to you guys about what's happening, even though you're not even interested and you don't even know my name and you don't know anything about me, apart from the things I've said. I don't know how much I've said, but uh, I thought you would get to know just my personality instead of the things, the facts about me, where I am or whether, uh, because that seems a little bit more fun, doesn't it? Maybe in someone's mind at least. Not in my mind, not in yours, but maybe in someone's mind. You know, I'm, I'm, I've am i been stressing a little bit about, you know, um, having my own apartment nowadays. And, uh, you know, furnishing an apartment is quite a struggle uh, when you don't have that much money. And I still have quite a lot of money when it comes... Or oh, <laughs> I shouldn't brag like that. I still have somewhat of a capital when it comes, or somewhat of a budget when it comes to uh, savings, because I've done a little bit of that. So, um, 
you know, it's just savings. Uh, I don't have that much, but uh, uh, now I feel like a dork, and <laughs> now I feel like a like an idiot when I when I said that I have I have money. No, I don't. But um, it's quite a struggle, and it's quite difficult to furnish an apartment and make you a home. Um, and my apartment is just a one bedroom apartment, like one studio bedroom apartment. Like, I have a kitchen, I have uh, a hallway, and I have a living room. A quite big living room, so it's like a two-room, uh, two-bedroom apartment, but um, in size, at least. But uh, it's it's a one-bedroom apartment. Uh, so I have my living room and I have my kitchen, and that's it. And I have filled, like less than half of it and I need to still like buy like a bed and and stuff so it's a lot you know and I don't know if you've gone through that stress yet but uh, it's stressful as fuck and there I said it again for the 11th time but we move we move now I'm gonna put a bind on myself so that's where I'm at you know that's been stressing on my mind um, anything else just stressing on my mind is my mental health and stuff. Uh, you know, there's a there's apparently a, like a hotline in in the US now for uh, just me- for he- mental health crisis. I didn't know that. Um, nine eight eight instead of nine one one. Apparently, if uh, you're American, uh, I don't I don't know if I speak with an American accent or if I speak with an English accent. I think I'm somewhere in between, but I'm not from either countries, so. But I guess you know that because I've mentioned, if you have listened to previous episodes, which I doubt you have, uh, if you're hearing this, um, I mentioned that English is my first language and it never will be. Uh, and it isn't. So that's uh, a fact for you. Well, I just can't blame myself for being boring in this podcast, but you know what it is. You know what it is. Uh, and still... People, people on Twitter are still going on about this. Uh, she's a ten, and he's a ten. But so here's one from uh, three a.m. Sad feeling. Uh, she's a ten, but she says, "Yeah, it's fine," and then suffer in silence. All right. I mean, there's no response to these. Like you can never respond respond with anything. Uh, what is Discord on? It only hurts when I think. Like Discord. Are you okay? At Discord, are you okay? I gotta stop pouring into cups to leave mine empty. Sure. I mean, my Twitter score got boring as fuck. I mean, based on my likes, I don't think I've bored, I've liked boring tweets, but uh, maybe I have on this one. Yeah, this is my actual Twitter. I need to go to my burner account. Don't be scared to start over. You might like your new story. Your new story. <laughs> Imagine someone puts your birthday date as the phone password. Yeah, imagine. That would be romantic, wouldn't it? Hopeless. Hopeless romantics in the world, right? Lizzo wanna be yeet so bad. Oh my god. That's really funny. You know Lizzo dropped a new album. And uh, she has this uh, sort of knight armor on her head, or whatever it is, uh, like a, maybe it is like a, like a religion thing, I don't know, but uh, it doesn't look like a religion thing, Um, and they put yeet uh, next to, next to her, I mean, whoops, gentrify, gentrify, blizzard. Lizzo want to be yeet so bad. That's really funny. Well, if you don't treat car rides like concerts, you don't know what life is about. How do you do that? How are you scream your lungs out? Is it? I guess it is. I guess even Twitter has heard, has heard me saying a- ASF uh, this many times. Because I just got, a t- I just saw a tweet, single ASF. And I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say. I just told you that I don't use that in conversation. But if you're a dork, unless you're a dork. Uh, but uh, 
I just had to because I can't say it anymore because I'm I banned myself from doing that. That's that's the way you're supposed to do it, right? If you don't like something about yourself, just ban yourself from doing it. Delete the law from at the end of your text and just say what you need to say. No. I'll put two laws at the end of my texts if I want to. I'll put three laws. I'll put, I'll put five of them just to be sure that the person understands that I'm being serious instead. You know, because one, one law is being serious. Two laws is unserious. Three laws is serious and so forth. That's cool. Eye contact will make me so nervous I just stare at the foreheads. Yeah, I mean I I actually had a problem with like eye contact and I've worked on it for like five years now or something. Uh where I look at people's like the, the like you can't look at people's both but like the both of their eyes at the same time. Anyways. Uh you can either focus on one eye or you can look at the nose bone, like the the um, root of the nose, the nose root, nose root, and uh, that's just what I've been doing. You know, it makes it so much easier because I don't actually look into it, into their eyes. I just look at the nose bone, so I see their eyes obviously because their eyes are right there. But I still look at the nose, the root nose, nose root. Uh, that's a, that's a word, that's a word for sure. So I do that. Um, but sometimes obviously I just stare at their hairline or, or their belly button or their big toes. I care a lot until I don't care at all. Right. Makes sense. I'd be like, I don't care. Don't tell Twitter. Alright. I don't care. Fab Five Freddy told me everybody's fly. Cool. He did, did he? He did, 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 he. How do motherfuckers get addicted to gambling, bro? I lose twenty dollars and I'm done. Yeah, I mean same. I never, I never gamble. Um, that's uh, a really fun fact about me, isn't it? Like a thrilling, like a, like a really exciting fact. I don't gamble. End of conversation. No, but I actually, I actually use uh, these uh, free lottery tickets that I get from doing like um, surveys and stuff. And I mean, there's a chance of winning one million. You're not going to, most probably, because I haven't won anything. Not even a new lottery ticket. I haven't even won that in about ten lottery tickets. I think. I think I've done a solid five or solid ten without winning anything uh, at this point um, and uh, it sucks you know but uh, life goes on and uh, you uh, continue to live unless you choose not to every man has a female artist he's in love with yeah I mean Dua Lipa is alive you know da imagine finding both love and friendship in the same person imagine that couldn't happen Will you be my girl from Bribe? I like that part a lot. Everything has changed. Comes from Hi Baba. With two A's and two B's. No, two A's and two E's. A's. I carry sarcasm around like a house keys. Be careful what you ask me. Cool. I mean, I do that too. I mean, um, I'm too sarcastic. I'm too sarcastic and try for my own good. You know, I can't even. I can't even. Like I'm serious. Like I look like I'm serious, but I can't. I can't say a serious thing. But when I'm on here, when I actually speak to you guys, or no guys, at all actually. But uh, whatever. There might be guys in the future that listen to this. I don't know. I just can't be not serious on this podcast for some reason. I need to put in like clips and stuff if I'm going to be like funny. I don't think I'll ever be 
doing that uh, because I'm too lazy. See, imagine speaking like that with like having punctuations in between every word, sounding insecure AF. <laughs> you see, I put pants on myself. Call me a bunny the way I hop on this. Whoa, that's not friendly. That's not friendly at all. I wouldn't jump on that. I wish everyone could experience love without having to go through so much. I know, right? But uh, isn't that what makes it so precious? Or whatever. I always wonder what I look like from someone else's eyes. Me too. I probably look like a bum or a stupid person. But I actually saw a video from of myself when I did a like a video audition the other day uh, for a what uh, for a job, just a regular job, not acting job or anything, just a regular job, you know. And I saw that video and I was like, is that really what I look like? And I was like, it was the same thing with these uh, sort of reverse, um, the camera thing, you know, when they, when they put it the other way and you look like your face is non-familiar and it looks all twisted and shit. You know, you don't even recognize yourself barely. That's what I felt like when I saw that video audition. Now I watched it afterwards and I was about to send it in. I was like, is this even me? Can I send in a video that is sent myself that I applied for a job? Like, is that okay? Like, do I send in a video of Barack Obama doing a job application, like a deep fake instead? Is that, is that better? Like, does it work better than what I've just done? Because this doesn't look like it's working. Your face doesn't look like it's working. But you know, the feminine urge to tell him I'm proud of him 24 seven and tell him he's enough so he knows how loved and important he is. I mean, I know I'm not important, so I would just be lying. I don't actually exist, so if you ever met me, it was a prank. Oh yeah, I'm gonna use that one. I'm gonna use that one. If you ever met me, it was a prank. You know? If you ever heard me speak, it was a prank. I'm gonna read one, one of my own tweets, actually. Uh, I have tweeted in, in the last few days. Uh, this is one of them. I feel like someone gave me the title Lord of the Flies. What did these bastards invade my home for? Yeah, I mean, that's a problem that I have, you know? Um, I don't know what it is. Like I live on the four, on the fourth floor in the middle of the city, but there shouldn't be a lot of insects up here. You know, they should all be dead from the smog or they should be just evaporated in the air and they shouldn't be coming up here, but they're up here. Like I get loads, hell of spiders. So I don't get girls, obviously. Because I have, my apartment is full of spiders, so they come, they come over here and then they run screaming out um, of the apartment, and uh, I, I'm scared. The flies are insane. Like there's there's these type of flies that you know bounce up and down, sort of like um, like like tiger likes his chicks to behave or whatever. Um, they just come in, like four of them at a time. They come in groups, they come in gangs. It's like they, uh, they're they about to have me initiated in, in the gang, in the fly gang. And I'm about to be at a fly on the wall, staring at people. What have I else tweeted? Oh yeah, don't ev if you ever see one of my tweets, which you won't, because you wouldn't know my username, but if you do, just know that this tweet Whoever so brr a skr for, you know, it's a joke. Uh, this is another one that I did two days ago. I've never felt more pain than watching people on Kill Tony and I have chronic diseases. Oh yeah, I wanted to talk about this a little bit, at least. Uh, I, I, uh, I've seen Tony Hinchcliffe, obviously. Um, and I know, like, I watch a lot of comics and they stand up and I watch their podcasts and interviews and whatever, uh, shorts and skits and whatnot. But uh, 
I haven't watched uh, Tony Hinchcliffe other than on other podcasts. I think I watched a podcast with him uh, and Joe Rogan and was it was it either Ari Shafir or Shane Gillis or Tom Segura or someone else. But it was definitely Tony Hinchcliffe and Joe Rogan on it. I remember that because they sat next to each other. Uh, so I have kind of a photographic memory, but still not. And they were like, I hadn't watched uh, Tony Hinchcliffe by himself. Or not by himself, but his own show. Uh, so that's Kill Tony, if you didn't know. Um, and I've never felt such a second-hand embarrassment for people uh, when they bring the audience like these they bring these audience members or people that have prepared some sort of an act or wanted to join i don't know how it works really but they invite people on stage they get up there they do 60 seconds which is one minute uh congratulations to me for doing that math and uh, they do their sort of a little bit of material for one minute and then Tony and his guests of which usually are you know well established comics comics uh, that including himself obviously and they roast the living crap out of them and it's it's funny you know but uh, it's also Mind bogging, mind bogglingly painful, um, which makes me feel it's so, so uh, sort of embarrassed. Uh, and I cringed like the whole time, but I still watched it uh, because it was Mark Norman and Shane Gillis that he had on, um, and they had just been on Rogan, and it was I like both. Mark Norman and, and Shane Gillis uh, a lot and I like the comedy a lot so I wanted to watch it you know uh, for that reason and there was there was a lot of funny stuff but most of the time I was like I was like I don't know if I can watch this this makes me this is hurting to my core watching these people go up and get destroyed and get no laughs except for the last guy in this episode he was kind of funny but he also yelled a lot which made me mute um every time that he spoke like every time i could see that he was about to scream i was i was like my hand was already on the mute button and that's not how you should watch anything uh, in my opinion but uh, in my humble opinion but um, it's not my opinion to to have, I guess. Anyways, uh, Kill Tony was it was a good show. It was a good show. I I didn't know that he did that like sort of live thing, but it's it's pretty funny. It's pretty funny. And um, sorry, um, we've been going for twenty four minutes, and I don't even think that I've had a second to breathe. Uh, during these 24 minutes so 24 minutes without breathing uh, the first podcast to do 24 minutes without breathing breathing uh, imagine breathing on a podcast like physically impregnating people on a podcast that would be insane but um while you talk even like just just talking having people walk in and me impregnating people yeah let's let's not think about any more about that i don't even know what image you have what you think i look like um comment what you think i look like in the comments if you made it this far or if you just jumped to to 25th minute and um i think that's it for this episode you know uh, i don't think i should ramble in anymore and uh, the time has hit 2 p.m for me uh, so um, I think I'm going to actually have a little bit of lunch, even though I ate uh, breakfast about two hours ago. So um, I'm going to wish you a nice, comfortable week. And by the way, I didn't record last week because I was away. I had a little bit of a holiday. Um, so that's why. And also my computer crashed 
um, so I had to buy a new computer so I'm on my new PC uh, it works really well Dell if you want to sponsor me even though I don't have any an audience even uh, shout out um, get in contact with me in the comments or write me or whatever and um, I will uh, I will accept I will accept your terms but uh, 26 minutes, me rambling. Uh, I want to wish you a very nice week. I want to wish you a very nice week after that in case I don't make an episode, but I will, I think. And uh, I'll keep this train going, you know. And uh, if you want to jump on the train with me, just hop on. And uh, comment a blue whale in the comments if you want to. Obviously, that's my only demand. But uh, as I said, wish you a very nice day whatever it is or night whatever it is and um thank you for listening like subscribe um clip this or don't clip this just take care and uh, goodbye guys bye bye